We were visiting a church, and the pastor there knew my pastor very well, but he had no clue who I was. He did not know me from Adam. This is why we need to be connected to the body of Christ. It is so essential. This particular day I had been tormented. You know how we look at people when we're insecure? We look at people and we wonder why did they say something that way or why did they look at me like that or what are they thinking about me? Well, maybe they just don't like me. Well... Big old baby me, and I was a baby Christian at the time, was licking my wounds <laughs> because I had assumed, and we know what they say about assumption, don't we? I had assumed that the pastor didn't like me. I had made that assumption. I had concluded and deduced that something about me just turned him off and he just wished that this member would go and be someone else's headache. How pitiful. However, that's where I was. And it was so real to me that I cried half the day. And I went to church because that's what I was trained and taught to do. But I was in dire agony and half the people didn't know because every time somebody would look at me I'd clean up the tears real quick and straighten up my face and mm, put on that mm, happy face anyway I was hurting 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 big time and no one knew no one had a clue what I was going through I was in utter despair, to put it melodramatically. Now, this is the beautiful part about being with the pack. The pastor who did not know me was in front of the congregation, and while he was making his introductions and salutations, he took a moment being led by God's Holy Spirit, had me stand up called me out of the crowd, had me stand up, and he said, God just told me to tell you something. It moves me to tears to think of how in touch God is with our most secret thoughts and feelings and how much he cares. Well, the pastor told me, God told him to tell me something. And what God told him to tell me was, and I quote, God told me to tell you, young lady, that it's been a lie. The devil has been lying to you. There is no truth in it. I knew right then that God was telling me. The pastor wasn't even worried about me. He wasn't bothered by me. Maybe he just had a bad day. I was tripping, tripping over my own wounds, my own open scars, and my own unhealed issues. Do you know that delivered me that day? I mean, I was grateful. Then I cried because I was grateful that God even noticed I was hurting like that and took the time to single me out to address my wound. Anyway, I just want to tell you, had I not been with the body that day, had I stayed home like we often feel tempted to do, right? <laughs> Look how wounds. Anyway, I probably, it is a strong possibility that I may have chosen not to go back to church anymore based on an assumption founded by my own insecurities. Go figure. And the devils lie. Remember I said we all have a, uh, an enemy? And our enemy is the enemy of God. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. 
And that means you and me. He also walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And the reason the word is may is because we give him permission to devour us without realizing it. One way, by straying away from the pack. Don't stray. Whatever you do, don't stray. Stay, or you might pay. You get me? God bless you.